NASA's Explorer 1, the most far-off human-made object in the universe, is sending usable data to Earth again. In the universe, we have no thought what it is except for we can gauge it. Explorer 1, the famous space test sent off by NASA more than four and a half many years ago, has just sent back a message that has sent shockwaves through the academic community. In the wake of traveling almost 14 billion miles from Earth, Explorer 1 has made a discovery so significant that it has changed the direction of its mission, turning around towards our planet. But what exactly could this discovery be? Might it be proof of extraterrestrial life, a cosmic anomaly, or something much more unbelievable? In this gripping investigation, we reveal these stunning discoveries as Explorer 1 just made an astonishing revelation that caused it to unexpectedly turn around towards Earth. History tells us that the Explorer twin tests, if certain celestial events hadn't harmonized, may very well never have left Earth. In this case, the aligning stars were the four biggest planets in our solar system. Around 50 years ago, these planets were slowly aligning in a way that had last happened during Thomas Jefferson's administration in the early 19th century. This unique planetary alignment went largely unnoticed at first. The first person to recognize its importance was Gary Flandro, a doctoral student in aeronautics at the California Institute of Technology back in 1965 when space exploration was just beginning. Working part-time at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, California, Flandro was tasked with figuring out the most efficient way to send a spacecraft to Jupiter or even farther away to Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. Using a simple pencil, he meticulously plotted the orbital paths of these giant planets and made a fascinating discovery. In the late 1970s and early 1980s, all four planets would align in such a way that they could be visited in a single mission. This alignment meant that a spacecraft could use the gravitational pull of each planet to slingshot itself to the next, significantly reducing travel time. Flandro calculated that this alignment would cut the flight time from Earth to Neptune from 30 years to just 12 years. However, there was a catch. This planetary arrangement only occurred once every 176 years. To take advantage of this rare opportunity, a spacecraft would have to be launched by the mid-1970s. NASA seized this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity and built two spacecraft to make the journey. These spacecraft, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, were sent on an incredible mission to explore the outer planets of our solar system. Thanks to the alignment of the planets and the visionary calculations of Gary Flandro, the launch of the Explorer Twin spacecraft on September 5, 1977, marked something truly extraordinary at a place called Cape Canaveral in Florida. Explorer 1 embarked on its awe-inspiring journey into space, lifted off by a powerful rocket known as Titan 3E or Centaur, only 15 days after Explorer 2 was launched on August 20, 1977. Explorer 1 began its journey into the vast universe, following a shorter path. Their primary mission was to explore the massive gas giants in our solar system, like Jupiter and Saturn, along with their many moons. However, these brave space voyagers exceeded all expectations. They ventured far beyond, pushing the limits of exploration, traveling farther and longer than any other spacecraft in history. They broke numerous records on their inspiring odyssey, traveling past anything made by humans before, even venturing into a region known as interstellar space, a completely unknown domain within our galaxy. These exploring spacecraft, Explorer 1 and Explorer 2, are now more than 12 billion miles from us. Despite their immense distance, they continue to astonish scientists with the remarkable discoveries they make out there. Most recently, they made a discovery so shocking that it has taken everyone by surprise. The Explorer Twin spacecraft have achieved several truly remarkable accomplishments. Decades ago, they explored the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, surprising researchers who initially believed these moons to be dull and flawed like our own moon. These moons turned out to be vibrant centers of activity. Explorer 2 made history by becoming the first of the twins to swing by Uranus in 1986, and only three years later, it zoomed past Neptune, an achievement unmatched by any other spacecraft. As these spacecraft continue their extraordinary voyage, NASA employed some clever strategies to ensure they remained functional. They've deactivated non-essential parts, like extra instruments and heaters, to conserve power. This strategy aims to keep the spacecraft moving as planned until at least 2030. 
for the dedicated scientists and engineers who have been part of this unprecedented journey since its inception. It's a bittersweet mix of emotions. Their hard work has paid off, and just when they thought the Explorer missions were nearing their end, a startling revelation emerged from the depths of space. At the start of their remarkable journey 40 years ago, the Explorer spacecraft astounded scientists by providing the first close-up views of the moons of Jupiter and Saturn. These moons, which astronomers had believed to be dull and heavily scarred like our own moon, turned out to be dynamic worlds. Explorer 1 reached Jupiter in March 1979, only 546 days after its launch. Explorer 2, following a slightly different path, arrived in July of the same year. Both spacecraft were equipped with Viticon cameras that used filters to capture full-color images. Interestingly, they were designed to be extremely steady, rotating through space at a rate more than 10 times slower than the hour hand of a clock. This ensured that the images they captured were clear and sharp. During their mission, the explorers took more than 33,000 photos of Jupiter and its moons, each one revealing new and captivating details. For example, Europa, one of Jupiter's 53 named moons, was found to have a cracked icy shell, estimated to be more than 60 meters thick. As the spacecraft departed from the Jupiter system, they gained a speed boost of 35,700 miles per hour from a gravitational slingshot, an essential maneuver that helped propel them towards interstellar space. At Saturn, the explorers went their separate ways. Explorer 1 passed through Saturn's magnificent rings, enduring countless impacts from small dust particles, before passing by Titan, a moon shrouded in orange haze and traveling northward out of the plane of the planets. Explorer 2 continued its solo journey, reaching Uranus and Neptune in 1986. During its visit to Uranus, Explorer 2 discovered 10 new moons and added the planet to the list of worlds in our solar system with rings. However, Explorer 2's accomplishments were overshadowed by tragedy. Only four days after its closest approach to Uranus, the Space Shuttle Challenger tragically exploded shortly after launch, claiming the lives of all seven crew members, including Krista McAuliffe, a high school teacher from New Hampshire who was set to become the first civilian to travel into space. Three years later, as Explorer 2 flew about 2,800 miles above Neptune's stunning purple methane sky, it encountered the fastest winds ever recorded on any planet in our solar system, reaching speeds of up to 1,000 miles per hour. Neptune's largest moon, Triton, turned out to be one of the coldest places in our cosmic neighborhood with surface temperatures plunging to minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit. As these brave space explorers continued their journey, they sent back invaluable data that continues to baffle scientists to this day. Their incredible odyssey has transformed the textbooks of space science and inspired generations of future explorers to dream of reaching for the stars. However, the most surprising discovery of all came when Explorer 1 recently detected something truly remarkable hiding in the vastness of interstellar space. After nearly half a century of exploration, Explorer 1 has inadvertently found a mysterious anomaly that has left researchers puzzled. Explorer 1, after nearly 50 years of interstellar exploration, has made a discovery so significant that it has left scientists and researchers both baffled and excited. The spacecraft, which has traveled over 14 billion miles from Earth, has sent back a signal that contains data unlike anything we have encountered before. The anomaly it detected in the vastness of space is so perplexing that it has forced the spacecraft to alter its course and head back toward Earth, sparking widespread curiosity and speculation. The signal received from Explorer 1 has raised numerous questions. Could it be evidence of extraterrestrial life? Could this anomaly be a vast, unexplained phenomenon beyond our understanding? Or is there something even more incredible at play, something that could redefine our knowledge of the universe? To understand the gravity of this discovery, we must look back at the mission itself. Explorer 1 was part of the twin spacecraft mission launched in 1977, an ambitious attempt to explore the outer planets of our solar system, thanks to the unique alignment of the four largest planets, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune. This alignment allowed NASA to plan a path that would use the gravitational pull of each planet to slingshot the spacecraft from one to the next, drastically reducing the time needed for the mission. The mission was a success, and the spacecraft, Explorer 1, made remarkable achievements, 
far exceeding initial expectations. It went beyond the outer planets, even venturing into the vast unknown of interstellar space. While other space probes had sent back valuable information, Explorer 1 and its twin, Explorer 2, went beyond exploring the moons of Jupiter and Saturn, discovering the dynamic and active nature of these moons, and identifying new moons around Uranus. Explorer 1's most significant achievements include its exploration of Jupiter's moon Europa, where it discovered a thick icy crust, and its journey past Saturn, where it passed through the planet's iconic rings. As it moved farther into the unknown, it sent back detailed photos and data that surprised scientists, including information about the extreme weather conditions on Neptune and the unusual properties of Triton, its largest moon. After decades of successful data transmission, NASA had prepared for the eventual end of the mission, with the spacecraft powered down to conserve resources. But just when the team thought the mission was nearing its end, the latest discovery took everyone by surprise. This unexpected anomaly has led researchers to hypothesize about the nature of the signal and what could be responsible for this unprecedented change in trajectory. The implications of this discovery are vast. Could this signal be the first real evidence of life beyond Earth? Or perhaps it represents a natural cosmic phenomenon that has yet to be understood. Some speculate that the anomaly could be an unknown force or field that Explorer 1 has encountered as it continues to travel farther from the solar system. At this point, the anomaly remains a mystery, but one thing is clear. Explorer 1 has once again shattered our understanding of space exploration. With its unexpected findings, this iconic spacecraft continues to push the boundaries of what we know about the cosmos. As it turns back toward Earth, it carries with it a signal that could unlock a whole new chapter in humanity's quest to understand the universe and our place within it. For now, researchers are carefully analyzing the data and preparing for further study, hoping that this remarkable discovery will provide insights into some of the most profound questions in science. Whether it turns out to be evidence of alien life, a cosmic anomaly, or something even more extraordinary, Explorer One's discovery marks another milestone in humanity's journey into the unknown.